Hey, and welcome to Follow the Arrows. My name is Sarah Arrow, and I'm the Creative Director of LeadsLaunchLeverage.com, where we help ethical entrepreneurs go from marketing to fully filled sales funnels. And today I'm going to talk to you about the three pages your sales funnels must have because without these pages, you're not gonna have a proper funnel and you're gonna have a very leaky funnel and things are gonna go everywhere. Now, you may be a little confused about how sales funnels exactly work and you're not alone. In fact, the number one reason small business owners and ethical entrepreneurs say they can't get their funnels set up is they just don't know what to include where. And at the simplest answer, the very easy, easy answer is you need exactly three pages at the very least to make a sales funnel. Now, the first one, the first page you'll need is a sales page. Now, obviously this comes first. Sometimes this is called a landing page or in the case of a free opt-in, it could be a subscription page. Now this page has one single focus and that's to get your reader to take action. Whether that action is to buy a product or add in their email address in exchange for a free gift, this is the gateway, the entrance to your funnel. So everything depends on this page. Everything that follows this depends on whether somebody enters your funnel or clicks away from it. So you have to be sure that you include a really strong call to action, like click here to download this guide for free or buy now. Now you have to eliminate distractions and that means no other links to other things, no navigation bar, and you absolutely must address your ideal client's pain points and how what you're offering helps overcome some of these things. The biggest problem I see with landing pages for all my clients when I start working on them is quite simply, they have too many distracting links. They have links to various other things in case people didn't want what they've gone to on the sales page or the landing page. They have links to all kinds of crazy things. The best way that your landing page works is that it has one single focus and zero distractions. The next type of page you're looking for is the confirmation page. And this is where we ask your person to confirm their intentions. And for the sales funnel, this confirmation page may also be a checkout page. It's where they enter their payment details. For a free offer, it's simply the page that your email management system directs them to next. It's a holding page. And this is what you send them to when you're wanting them to confirm their email address. And you may even put some instructions on how to do that. If you're setting up a free funnel, this page has incredible power and you don't want to waste it because this is where you can offer an upsell. We call these expansion packs. You can also remind people to follow you on social media and give them a hint of the other products and services that you offer. And remember, they will only see this page once. So don't put anything here that they will need to refer back to. That's what the thank you page is for. And that's our third page. This is where they actually collect their downloadable item or their purchase. Or it could be the page that expresses gratitude and then tells them how the product or service will be delivered. Like the confirmation page, this is a really valuable page. So you make sure that you use it wisely. In addition to the downloadable item that your customer has just purchased or opted in for, you also showcase some of your other offers that are particularly related to that product. And they could be at a slightly higher price point. And here's why. The person looking at this page is a hot prospect. She's in the buying mood. She's looking to fix something. And you can help them by putting your most relevant offers to this page. Now, if this page is you're offering, say, 
a funnel review, you don't want to offer them, you know, a house cleaning product. It has to be relevant and fit what the offer is. Now you can include a limited time offer and only if it's a legitimate limit sales, you know, if you're doing something one to one that involves one to one time, then that is a legitimate scarcity offer. But don't offer a digital download as a limited scarcity thing because we all know that these are unlimited things. You can also offer a coupon. An insider's only deal can be an incredibly good motivator, especially if it's a good price. You can also give them access to additional products and services if they buy through your link on that page. So if you don't have an upsell product that's related, you can affiliate for one and give them some additional bonuses. Again, insider deals are really quite motivated. Remember, putting your sales funnel together isn't complicated, or at least it doesn't have to be. As your business grows and you have more to offer, you can expand your funnel to include upsells, downsells and cross sales. But right now, all you need is something really, really simple. And these three pages are exactly what you need. Hope you found that useful. And I will see you tomorrow. And we will talk about some more things, sales funnels. See you then.